This video is on how to change fractions to decimals. And there's two ways of going about it. First, you can use a calculator. Now, to use a calculator, you need to type in exactly as you see up here. 1 over 8 is 1 divided by 8 on your calculator. And you get point one two five then you can try four over seven it's four divided by seven on your calculator you should get point five seven one four two eight blah 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 and it keeps on going so one way is just type it in your calculator the other way is using long division so I'm just gonna go over long division right now. Let me erase these answers and use want long division. Now oftentimes I see students when they do long division they put the numbers in the wrong spots. So 1 divided by 8, if I'm going to write it out longhand, 1 divided by 8, this is how it looks in long division. 1 divided by 8. The 1 goes inside. The 1 is on the inside. The 8, you're dividing it by. So the decimal for the 1 is right here. So you can bring the decimal straight up. And you're just asking yourselves, how many times can a number go into another number? So first, how many times can 8 go into 1? And since 8 is more than 1, the answer is 0. When you do that, then, since you want to move over, you add a zero. Next, you ask, how many times can eight go into ten? Now I'm dealing with ten. One into zero. Eight goes into ten one times. Then you multiply this one times eight. You multiply it. One times eight is eight, and you subtract. Ten divided. Ten minus eight is two. Okay, we're not done because we have this remainder too. We've got to keep on going. So we're going to add another zero in the place value here. And we're going to bring it down. I'm going to ask again, how many times does 8 go into 20? 8 goes into 20 two times. And I'm going to multiply 2 times 8 is 16, and I'm going to subtract, and I get 4. We're not done because we still have a remainder, so I'm going to add another 0. And I'm going to bring the 0 down. How many times does 8 go into 40? And the answer is 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40 when we subtract that we get 0 once you get a remainder of 0 you're done my answer is 0 0.125 this is my answer up here just like we did when we used our calculator okay let's try one more 4 divided by 7 so let's write that out in long division 4 divided by 7 Here's the decimal for the 4. Bring it straight up. How many times does 4 go into 7? Zero times, because 7 is more than 4. We're going to add a 0 place value. How many times does 7 go into 40? 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 6 is 42. 6 is too much, so the answer is 5. 5 times 7 is 35, and then we subtract it and we get 5. Do another place value. Ask myself how many times is 7 go into 50? 7 goes into 50 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. Subtract. I get 1. Do another place value. And you can keep on doing this until you get a zero remainder. If you get a zero remainder, how many times does seven go into ten? One time. One times seven 
is 7. We subtract and we get 3. Do another place value. Do you see you can keep on going forever and ever? Now it depends. Normally if you do a number like this, it's going to tell you to round to a certain place value. Now if, let's say they asked us to round to the hundredths place value, the, the hundredths. This is the hundredths. Then you'd only need to go one more to the right. Because to round it, you need to look to the right of the underlying number, the place value you're rounding to. So if they were asking for the thousands, then we'd have to go to one more place value. You always go to one more to the right, and then you can stop, round it, and then you'll be done. So if I was rounding to the hundredths place value, I look to the right, five or more. This is one or, or four or less. We don't add one to the underlying number. Everything to the left just gets cut off. So my answer would be 0 0.57. If I was rounding to the hundredth place value. If you're going to round to the thousands, ten thousands, you'd have to keep on bringing these these numbers. You had to keep on going until you had all those numbers. I hope this video helped.